Hey guys, how's it going? Flooding Mod 14 here, and we're back with another episode of Pokemon Emerald. Uh, in the last episode, we just uh, we went over here to the battle tent and took on the, uh, the challenges there. Uh, got to show off Meryl uh, quite a lot, which was pretty fun. And uh, yeah, uh, in this episode, we are going to get on with the plot. And man, listen to the music here, guys. Oh my god. Oh. It's just so upbeat, you know, festive. Oh man, reminds me of Christmas and the holidays are approaching. Yeah, if you're ever feeling down or or anything, you know, need to pick me up, this is a great place to go, man. Slateport City. Uh, I, I mean, I could really just listen to this theme all day. Doom, 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 doom. But no, let's get on with the story. And so we're here in the Oceanic Museum, and uh, yeah, uh, earlier all these Team Aqua Thugs were kind of outside. You know, blocking the way to get in, but uh, they've cleared out now. And you have to pay 50 bucks to get in here, so that's, you know, damn, dude. What a ripoff. But, uh, <laughs> I mean, they better be showing Night of the Living Dead here. But, uh, oh, yeah, here you can actually learn a lot of, uh, you know, mini facts they put in the game. It's kind of interesting, really. Why is seawater blue? Light is composed of many colors when light passes through water. Many kinds of light lose color, however, blue light retains its color, making the sea, or, sea appear blue, yeah. Which is bigger, the sea or the land? The sea covers about 70%, and the rest is land. It's a giant, like, science lesson here, man. Like, seriously, they they put a lot of detail in here, but, uh, yeah, I'm just gonna go over thing. Uh, you know, I mean, why not? Why is the sea salty? <laughs> oh, oh. <laughs> well, anyway. Seawater contains dissolved salt in forms of sodium and chlorine ions. Ions leach out of rocks and are carried away out to sea by rain. Concentration of dissolved salt makes the sea salty. What's up, man? If I ripped off the stuff here, would it make me rich? I don't know, maybe. I mean, they seem to be doing pretty well. 50 bucks a head? Yeah, yeah. May make you rich, I don't know. A strange machine is rotating under a glass dome. Maybe it's used for measuring the depth of something. Yeah, maybe. <laughs> if our goons didn't bungle things here in Rustboro, we would be here. <laughs> Alright, and this is a sample of beach sand. Stones from mountains are washed down by rivers where they are chipped and ground down. They are reduced to grains and end up as sand on beaches. Wow, cool. Uh, what's this guy say? What I learned here, I can put to use for nefarious deeds. <laughs> ah, see, now that's, that guy's got a good head on his shoulders. <laughs> Get smart and, you know, crooked. Yeah, that's that's the way to go. Ah, and this is the Team Aqua guy we thumped before, you know, back in Rush Turf. He had the Poochiana, remember? Uh, anyway, <laughs> yeah, he's kind of scared of us, so he's like, forgive me! He gives us a TM-46, which is Thief. Pretty cool. Wahaha, he hopes he never sees us again. And what's this guy got to say? Oh, I didn't have 50 bucks, so it took a long time to get by the receptionist. Yeah, how did you do that, bro? Teach me. Teach me your sneaky ways. But, uh, no. <laughs> this is a sample of soil from the ocean floor. Over many years, the remains of life forms settle at the bottom of the sea, making sedimentary layers. By analyzing these layers, the ancient past is revealed. <gasps> what is it? I don't know. Anyway, here... It's a fossil with wavy ridges on it. Soil on ocean floor, on the ocean floor, gets scourged by the tide. The flowing seawater marks the soil with small ridges and valleys. The soil becomes fossilized. It's called a ripple mark. Wow. I mean, they put a lot of detail into this museum. You know what I'm saying? It's kind of, kind of cool. We Team Aqua exists for the good of all. Sure you do. Sure you do. Just like a uh, well, no, never mind. A red ball is bobbing up and down inside a glass vessel. Vessel. Experiment simulating a waterfall. Ah, uh, yes. Using the ball's buoyancy. Buoyancy, buoyancy. We were told to assemble here, so we did, but uh, our ball's, the linchpin, isn't here. <laughs> Don't you mean the kingpin? You know, the villain from Spider-Man, the original one? Oh, man. That was a great show in the 90s, let me tell you. Uh, experiment to create Whirlpool. Oh, thank God they don't have uh, that here. Yeah, that's an annoying HM. Uh, that was in the second generation for this game, so. Model of the Hoenn region. It's a miniature diorama. Ah, where's Ludorood on this? I don't know. I don't know. And looks like we have a ship here. Fairy SS title. Ah, scale replica. Oh, plot. Plot foreshadowing under construction. 
Submersible Pod. Replica of a compact, unmanned pod for ex- seafloor exploration. Yes, yeah, it's kind of like, uh, well, y- you know how they send out like little satellites into space? You know, that are just cameras and, you know, manned. Yeah, it's kind of like the same thing, but underwater. It can withstand the pressure and stuff. Submarine Explorer 1, a replica of the high performance ocean floor exploration submarine. Alright. And what is these? Expanding and shrinking in the sea, the weight of water itself exerts pressure. Ah, yeah, this is true. Yeah, not very heavy in shallow water. But yeah, in extremely deep water, yeah, the pressure can w- reach tens of thousands of tons on a small area. Yeah, and then not in some other areas. Yeah, it's very, very strange. Uh, if you ever, you know, have been uh, diving or anything, you are trained about that, that's for sure. Display on the float of seawater. Near the bottom of the sea, water flows due to differences in such factors as temperature and salinity. Yep. Cool. Flow of seawater. Toward the surface, seawater flows as currents driven by the winds. Yeah, man, there's a lot, like, I mean... Dude, like, you could just, you know, learn everything. Well, not everything, but you could learn a lot. Uh, and, the, and in fact, the funny thing about this museum is there's, like, a lot that we still don't know. You know, about, you know, not only what's under the sea, but uh, what different, you know, chemicals and, you know, unexplored territory. Oh, this is a replica of the SSM, by the way. But, yeah, there's just a lot of mysteries that we still don't know. Uh, you know, about the earth and especially underwater. Well, it's one of the more treacherous areas to travel. It's much like, like I said before, it's much like space. You know, it's very, well, it can be, you know, very dangerous to, uh, to travel that way. So, anyway, I'm going to take a look at my team here. It's been a while since I played. I'm recording this on December 2nd, 2016, in case you're interested. Uh,. Well, we're, oh, in case you were wondering what I'm doing, what I'm doing, uh, yeah, you may want to make sure your Pokemon are fully healed and everything, because we're going to have some stuff to do here. Anyway, talk to this guy, and yes, if you were looking for Stun, that would be me. Ah, those must be the pots I ordered from Mr. Stone of Devon. Thank you. That's great. We can prepare our expedition now. Well, finally, I found this guy. Oh, and who do we have? <laughs> Hold it, we'll take those parts. Oh, oh, what? Who are you people? We are Team Aqua. <laughs> Our boss wants all his parts. Shut your gap and fork them over. Or face a children's card game challenge. Oh, and we have to, you know, come out in front of Stern because, yes, Stern's a coward and he needs a 10 year old girl to defend him, so he's gonna hide behind a 10 year old girl like a real man would. No, but, uh, yeah, they just got Carvana, Carvana, so we'll go with Mega Minato. Yeah. I do love the, uh, battle theme here. By the way, that team up gets, it's, it's pretty cool, man. It's just pretty upbeat. Do, 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 do. Uh, yeah. Do, do, do. Yeah, Carvana is a water and dark type, in case you were wondering. Um, will I add it to my team? Uh, well, you know, I, well, I don't know. I don't know, honestly. There's another water and dark type that I may add to my team. Uh, but I don't know, man. Sharpedo. I gotta admit, Sharpedo is pretty cool. What? A kid beat me. Yep. A little girl beat you, yeah. Oh man, what a disaster. Boss is gonna be furious. <laughs> Sniffling wimp. Let me take care of this. Oh. But yeah, it kind of is, uh. I guess you could say cheap that they make you fight, you know, back to back battles. But at this point, you know, your team should be pretty set. So, uh, yeah, just be aware of that. Be ready for that. Ooh, and we flinch. Oh no. Haha, ha, Zubat, I make your supersonic miss. And thank God I did, because, uh, yeah, confusion's kind of annoying, man. Got, I gotta say, it just is. Roll out! Yeah! Job, my homie! Alright, and Zubat is down. 
All right, and Daedalus is up to level 12 too. Yeah, still haven't really trained him off screen. Um, but we are coming to the point of the game where I usually do train. Uh, you know, typically, you know, after the first gym, uh, you know, I, I kind of just roll with it. And then after the second gym, you know, whatever levels I am from fighting trainers, I usually keep it. But then, uh, yeah, really, now what? If we don't get the parts, we're in for it. Uh, I didn't count on being metal with some meddling kid. Oh, watch you guys. Don't you dare make a Scooby-Doo reference. I came to see what the copyright is on Scooby-Doo, and also to see what was taking you so long to snatch some parts, and you, simps, are being held up by a mere child and a girl. We are Team Aqua, and we love the sea. I am Team Aqua's leader, Archie, which rhymes with sea. What makes you interfere with us? No, you can't be. You're not one of Team Magma. Wait, that can be right. You're not dressed for the part. Da 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 Pokemon people. All life depends on the sea. So Team Aqua is dedicated to the expansion of the sea. Don't you agree? Ha ha! What we are doing is a magnificent undertaking. Ah, fine. You're still too young to understand our noble objective. But I warn you. Don't even consider interfering with our plans again, you impudent child. The consequences will cost you dearly, and don't you forget it. Whoo! And wow. Yeah, that was the leader of Team Aqua there, and he was pretty intense. I don't know why. You're... Oh, okay, you're Megami. Anyway, thank you. That was a tense situation. Thank you for saving us. Ah, yes. I almost forgot that you bought the pots from Devon. And we had him in the Devon Goods. Finally, the Devon goods are delivered. Whoops, there's no time to lose. We have to set out for our ocean floor expedition really soon. Thanks again, but now I've got to go. Boy, Feel free to wander around and check out our facilities, though. And Captain Stern's gonna be nice, give you a reward, and heal your Pokemon, so... That's cool. Alright, and with that, our uh, objective here is done. We have... Uh, Delivered to the Devon Goods, which that guy, you know, got robbed of, like, well, he got attempted to be robbed once, and then, you know, got robbed the second time. Oh, uh, I'm sure I met you somewhere before. Have I not introduced you, myself to you? If not, my name's Scott, and I'm hot. Oh, I just saw Team Aqua running away he from here like they were stung. Yeah. Let me guess, you drove them away? Made them not want to stay? Hmm, maybe. Just maybe this trainer. Alright, I think you're going to become a good friend. So let's register each other in our Pokenavs. Alright. And this weird guy who's been following us around in Emerald, Scott. We get to register him, so that's pretty cool. What I'd like to do is tag along with you, but I do want to keep an eye out for the talents of other people too. So, I'll be off to roam other towns a bit more. Be seeing you, Megami. Alright, alright, bro. Well, and with that, we've drove Team Aqua out of the wonderful fest of Slateport City, so... That's awesome. And I think we're healed and everything, right? Yeah, yeah. So, I don't know why I went in there. But anyway, now we can move on, so... Let's go up here to Route... Uh, looks like 110. Now here we have the cycling road, which is a place where you can, you know, uh, level up some more, uh, fight some more trainers, uh, but you can't go on there without a bike, so yeah, we're not going to want to go there just yet, but we will eventually. Oh, and what the, I don't remember this happening. This is uh, Professor Birch. Oh, Megami, imagine seeing you here. Yeah, yeah, same to you. And where might my Brendan be? Eh, I don't know. Oh, I see you two are running separately. Well, yeah, man. I mean, I'm a, I'm a big girl. I can take care of myself. You know what I'm saying? Well, that's fine. Ah, uh, yes. I heard that you had the... Yeah, yeah. Pokenav. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. He can raid our Pokedex anytime. Okay. So we got Professor Birch's number. Cool. Mega me. Please keep an eye out for my Brendan. Well, I better get going. See you again. And wow, he's a long way from home. Uh, yeah, normally... 
uh, you only see professors, you know, hanging around in their labs all game, but, uh, eh, not this time. That's pretty cool. And looks like we've got a couple trainers to fight, so let's see who's up. Uh, yeah, I think that'd be a good combo. Tad Lily, Mega Mignato. Show off my delightful Pokemon. When cute Pokemon help each other, you won't see a more adorable sight. Really? What if I saw like a gummy bear hugging a polar bear? That's, I don't know, man. That's, see, gotcha. That's pretty adorable. Well, uh, these guys have Plusle and Minin. Now, uh, yeah, I'm definitely going to switch to Flooded Man for this. But, uh, yeah. These are a couple of Pokemon you can actually find on this route. Um, their abilities actually power up with each other. Um, but they're electric Pokemon. They're kind of like... <laughs> they're both... <laughs> yeah, that's, that's really smart. Both using Helping Hand. Only not. But, uh... Yeah, they're both, um... You know, kind of knockoff Pikachus. Uh, I don't know if I'd really recommend them. Uh, I haven't really ever tried out either one of them, but I, I mean, I, I guess they're probably okay electric types. Uh, mine is really more defensive, and Plusle's more, you know, just speedy and offensive, so eh, I don't know. Um, in my opinion, there's like better electric types in this game, and mine would probably be. My favorite electric type in this game. Oh yeah, probably be Magnemite. Just you know, just because it has the part steel type, it's just you know, so helpful, so helpful. So, uh, just again, that's just my opinion. So, take it for what it is. I'm gonna switch over to Absorb actually. So, Thunder Wave. Oh yes, and the paralyzation. Here it comes. Yeah, um, I would say if you don't like Paralyzation, well, that's too bad because, <laughs> yeah, this upcoming route, it seems like every, you know, uh, Pokemon either has, you know, Thunder Wave or Static or, you know, both. Uh, so, yeah, pretty annoying, but, uh, Yep, uh, just, you know, be prepared, you know, buy a lot of, you know, paralyzed heals or, you know, regrow cherry, cherry berries, do whatever you gotta do, so. Or you could just have a ground type with you, which, you know, thankfully, Marsh Top is part ground type, so, there you go. But if you don't have that, yeah, that's gonna be a pretty, like, you know, I guess, annoying part of the game. Uh... But yeah, I would recommend Geodude, you know, if you, you don't have it. And once it gets up to level 16, yeah, you, you can probably easily do that. It's about the same level as we are now. And it'll learn uh, Magnitude, which uh, it's, it's an okay ground-type move. has varying power, but I don't know. Usually whenever I'm playing by myself, it usually always gets like a 6, which, which is okay. It seems to, you know, knock these guys out. So there you go. Quick attack. Yeah, and you see they're like quick attack. I mean that really didn't do much damage, so uh in my opinion, probably not really the best kind of Pokemon here. Plus also like plus one minin, like they don't evolve or anything, so I don't know. Just don't seem to be that great. You know what I'm saying? Alright, and Tad Lily is level seventeen. Oh dear, this one too. Have you no compassion or pity? No, I don't. Give me your money. <laughs> oh man. And Tad Lily's gonna try to evolve here. But we don't want that. We want to wait out for a little rain dance. Yay yo. Sorry, girl. That wasn't close to what I could show for my Pokemon. I'll have you as my captive audience as often as possible. <laughs> Alright. So we're gonna register her. And, okay, okay, you've done the best you could, my pretties. Rather than battling, I, perhaps I should show off my Pokemon at the fan club. Yes, perhaps you should. 
Three steps right and two steps up to reach the Wondrous Trick House. Alright, so actually we're going to check this uh, place out in the next video, I think. And we'll be able to battle some more trainers and uh, see something kind of interesting uh, in the uh, here in the Hoenn region. So that'll be next time. Thanks everyone for watching. I will see you. Bye-bye. Have a good day.